Parts of San Antonio Living brought to you by... Hey guys, coming up on this hour of San Antonio Living, it's an amazing opportunity for your kiddos to dance like the Silver Dancers. We're going to tell you about this great junior Silver Dancer clinic and where you can sign up. And we're learning how to make some colorful treats for your home. Colorful, I'm sorry, not treats, maybe some treats, but how about tweaks for your home? And it'll help them your house really pop. Linda De La Garza, she's here, and she's here to show us how you can DIY your home with some sheep shades. Say that three times fast. Plus, let's rodeo San Antonio. The SA Stock Show and Rodeo, it's in full swing, and we're going backstage to meet some more of the stars that are performing in our city. It's all ahead. San Antonio Living starts right now. Antonio Living starts right now. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alana Sarabia, being joined by Claudia Guerra. Follow this Friday morning. How hey, are you? Hey, girly. How are you? TGIF, everybody. I know. We I made know. it to the end of the week. But I know we're missing Shelly Miles this morning. Mm -hmm. She's out today. We will be holding down the fort for her this morning. Yes, we will. I wonder if she's talking about this because everybody else is. I feel like this dress has divided the world into two sides. It's the ah. black and blue and the white and gold. Have you guys seen this yet? I saw this. And I'm just talking about it. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm pretty certain about what I can see. Okay, so here, <laughs> here's the deal, you guys. This is the same dress. Three different photos. Exact same dress. And here's the big question. What color is it? Blue, white, gold, black, pink, purple, lime green. I say it's pink. Why not? Pink? Right? Why okay. not? No, okay, that's, that's a lie. That's what I haven't heard. <laughs> but everybody's, you know, and of course, if I think it's white and gold, I'm right. But if you think it's blue and black, you're right. Yeah, right? well, okay, well, now I can see the blue and black. But earlier when I saw the one version, clearly white and gold, okay? <laughs> it's yeah. white and gold. So I don't, honestly, I don't do you know. No, everybody's talking about this, but they know. are. So we actually, we turned to everybody here at News 4 and Fox San Antonio to see what they thought. What color is this dress? I see white and gold. I see blue and black. I see black and blue. Definitely white and gold. I see white and gold. At first I saw chartreuse and white. Then, through the power of suggestion, I saw light blue and green. And not until I saw the actual dress that I see that it was kind of a royal blue and black. Very, very odd. Well, after I stopped rolling my eyes, initially I saw it as a creamy and gold color. And then I would look away and look back and it suddenly changed to like light blue and look away and look back again. And then it was the whole blue and black. Weird. Blue. And what? And black. Oh, that's good. <laughs> we work with the most amazing we people around and here. That was yeah. Jose, our janitor, and he, is, he had a lot to say <laughs> about the dress, especially Leslie Chartreuse. Thank Go you, Leslie. Leslie. I, I appreciate that. that. Well, here's what the people are saying. It's a perception issue that it's the way the brain processes information that comes in. I don't know. Honestly, I think it's just a really bad filter. I don't know. On White Instagram gold or iPhone or whatever. Yeah, yeah, so let us know what you think. Everybody's <laughs> okay. talking about it. Yeah. White and gold. All right, so online dating is super popular nowadays. It really it is. It seems like everybody's doing it. So we got some tips for you guys because there are actual keywords that you uh -huh. could use to make sure that you score some dates, okay? Right. So the top male keywords, guys, pay attention, So all these right? are words you need to have in your profile. You need to have on your profile, right. Okay. If you do the, the whole online dating, make sure that you have these key words. Dog. Dog. Funny. Okay. Successful. Hmm. Adventure. And career. Okay, but what if this person is none of those? They don't have a career, they have a cat, they're unsuccessful, they're not funny. <laughs> then are they still gonna score a date? <laughs> I don't know, but huh. if you use those words, you're gonna get super, super lucky on that whole online dating okay. ordeal. So well, if you're a girl, what about the ladies? For the ladies, okay. sophisticated, spontaneous, Good. ambitious. Uh -huh. yoga, this is my favorite yoga. Yoga. And Wait, guys stretching, right? love the girl <laughs> next door, Alana. Ooh. That could be risque, but yeah. okay, good to know. Even if you don't do yoga, put it down and start learning some <laughs> know, yoga, right? right? Put it down anyway, so it's gonna it's gonna score you some All points. Right. Well, hey Denise, we're gonna we're gonna wrap you in here. We're gonna be talking about relationships and people meeting other people in odd ways. What are we talking about on Facebook? Okay, we're talking about dating on Facebook. So I found an article, put it on Facebook, and it said that the best place to pick someone up is guess where? 
Hmm. The gym? The gym. The gym. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, definitely. So, Alana, I know you go to the gym a lot. I do you do. get hit on? No, no, because oh, I'm typically nice. there with the officer boyfriend too. Oh, but but even go. when I'm by myself, I'm like tunnel vision. I want in and I want out. Yeah, yeah that's true. The gym so. is definitely a big one. Mm -hmm. Second, second best place. What do you think? Grocery store. I oh. thought grocery store too. The old that's fashioned. What, that's what I thought too. But it's actually like the, the bar dog park. It's the dog oh, part. The yeah. dog? I, guess I can see that. Yeah, oh. dogs are making their huge comeback right now. They're like all the rage. <laughs> They're they have always to have a the dog, rage, you know? Denise. Oh, always. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> but everybody has a dog now, so I guess it's like the cool thing to go pick up someone with your dog. I don't okay, know. Yeah. Anyways, go buy a dog. Guess it's what, cute. Guess what the worst place, where the worst place to pick someone up is? The bar. No, actually, that's on the good list. Oh, According that's a good to this one, article, though. never pick someone up during surgery. I don't even know what that means, but it's that? in this article, so I guess, like, well, so maybe you're in the waiting room. Don't hit on someone at that point. <laughs> oh, God. <Okay. laughs> but that's what we're talking about today on Facebook. We're asking you where the best place to hit on someone is, and if you already have a special someone, tell us where you hit on, on them when y'all first started dating. Let us know on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash news4sa. You know what? For us three ladies, my, uh, missions game is good place, and yep. work is another good at place work. to hit yeah. on. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with those. <laughs> those are good places. I'm surprised the bar made the top list. <laughs> Hey, how oh, yeah. about a Spurs game? Maybe you can meet somebody at a Spurs game, perhaps. That's right. Well, guys, it's just announced Maybe. that the NBA, La NBA, returns with Latin Night oh. as a celebration. <laughs> Do that again. That sounded pretty. Do it. La NBA. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. So basically, it's a celebration of the growing support of NBA fans and players across Latin America and the U.S. Hispanic communities. Now, okay. they're going to be playing a total of 14 games, sporting some super cool jerseys, and the very first one that Los Spurs Nailed it. will be playing is happening March Love the eighth that. against, check this out, Los Bulls. Oh, wait, is it, <laughs> doesn't Bull, there's a Spanish name for Bull, right? There is, but they're calling it Los Bulls de Chicago. De Chicago. <laughs> I yeah. got this. I love so. this a lot. Let me tell you, only because we had the silver dancers in the studio later, so uh -huh. it's on mind. When I was a silver dancer, and it was uh, like la Latino night you or Los Spurs night, night uh -huh. we'd always wear big flowers in our hair. Like that I was our like that. spicing it up. Yeah, it's always so, fun. So make sure if you're you guys going, go out there. wear a flower in your hair. I love the idea of the flower. Very good. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So back to our Facebook. We wanted uh, one you to chime in to our Facebook talker today, but we also want to announce who our Facebook shout out winner is. All right. You ready for it? Yeah. Who is I it? don't know who it is. Oh, it's, it's Eric. Eric. Congratulations, Eric. Thank you for being our San Antonio Living Fan of the Day or shout out winner. You guys, it's so simple to be our winner. All you have to do is comment. Let us know where you hit on your sugar, where you found your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, whatever. And you could be our winner on Monday. That's right. All right, guys. Still ahead on San Antonio Living, we're learning how to make some colorful tweaks to your home.